I love going to outer space. Dahl's technical officer, so-called. Talk about deploying it to a router. Sounds like some kind of operator or artificial intelligence type program, perhaps. Microgravity detected. Michael's familiar embrace comforts us. Oh, I'm sure my ops are hidden as an HR expense in the Transtar books. It's I do solve people. Your work. Bay are going to suffocate in a few minutes. Oh, fuck you. Maybe you can save them, but you'll have to come out of the walls, rat. Life support. The clock is ticking. Right. Okay, I gotta whack fast here. Dal's cut off oxygen to the cargo bay. There's nothing I can do from here, and none of the doors are responding. Atmosphere controls are in life support. If you can help, do it quick. Or this is the last time we'll be talking. Understood. Cripes. Miss Oakler is right to be alarmed, though her assessment is mistaken. Dahl is manipulating the oxygen and nitrogen mixture. With nitrogen flooding into the atmosphere, anyone in the cargo bay will asphyxiate far more quickly than had he simply cut the oxygen. Oh, well, that's all right then. They'd already be dead if Dahl weren't trying Morgan to use them to manipulate you. I repeat, Morgan, you decided. are working again, Morgan. Nice work. I'm taking what's left of my crew to the atmosphere controls and life support. We're going to clear out Dal's shit can operators and make sure there are no more mishaps with the air on this station. Oh, good. That was quite effective, I guess. Dal populated his entire crew with customized operators. He made the mistake of hanging his hopes in a machine. Flesh and blood is messy, Morgan, but it's the only thing that matters in the end. Well done. The upload just kicked in. Meet me in the operator. We have important work to do. Alex just uh, reminding us, by the way, don't trust January, trust me instead. Don't blow up the station. <laughs> uh, Alright. So let's get to Dahl and try and incapacitate him before Elazar shoots him dead. <laughs> As she is likely to do at this point. Without his hacking going on, he's kind of fucked. It's just one guy. And it's now become quite obvious the intents to kill everyone. Definitely got to deal with this before meeting up with Alex. <sighs> Walter Dahl. I do hope that by disabling Caspar before heading to life support, I didn't sort of um, get some of Elazar's people killed needlessly or something. Hello. See you again, Dr. Yu. But if they've helped me out by disabling his operators or something, I'm all for that. Hmm. Air filtration. Is that, that's the reactor chamber over there, right? Let's check out the maps here. Coolant chamber. I wonder. Welcome. Maybe this is I the power plant, not life support. Right. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Yep. 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 I get it. I got to go through here to get to life support, which is where I believe Dahl to be. There's a phantom up there. Pop. Alright, the objective marker was simply pointing to a grav shaft. These things are often uh, 
Look, it's a very complex game with a lot of things to do, a lot of places to go through, and a lot of coral everywhere. Wow. Um, I can see why objective markers are a feature of it, and, and you can, of course, turn them off if you don't want them. But I find they don't usually enhance my experience of the game. I think I would probably recommend it to anyone who's going to play Prey in the near future. Um, probably turn objective markers off most of the time. I'm just sitting here to recover sight from the coral, which I'm sure is completely safe and has no consequences. To life support. So, Chief Elzar usually moves fast. We're expecting to find her and Dahl in this place, probably having some kind of shootout. I want to get to them and, and be like, hey, don't kill this guy. I wanted to fly the shuttle after we reset his mind, which of course is, is um, you know, it somehow occurs to me only now, rather than at the time as it should have, that uh, this is the exact same thing that Alex has been doing, controlling people by manipulating their memories. and. Uh, of course, Igwe, who doesn't really see anything wrong with that stuff, and it's a, a psychotronics guy, is like, ah, oh, yes, we can, you know, remove this man's dura mod, reset his memories, and make him be on our side because he thinks he's someone different now. Um, pulling a, you might say, a reverse Morgan U on him. Oh, crap. It's unfortunate. Gosh. I'll just eat some stuff. Ah, electrical junction. The worst thing in the world. It repairs so slowly. Upgrade kits, yes please. Upgrade my do Ooh. Oh. I wish it didn't show you things that are already fully upgraded. Ten shots per charge on the disruptor, that's pretty good. Okay, so there's coral fucking everywhere. This is the way to atmosphere control. There was a Typhon at some point. This was a human at one point. Oh no! Tomiko Hayashi, isn't that one of Elazar's people? So did I actually get some of them killed by um... Because they went and fought the operators. Man, now I regret this. I almost... I am actually tempted to load a saved game, ignore Caspar, and go and take on Dahl myself. Try and save everyone. So, I'll... Just hack this thing. So, now this really would be perfectionism. So... What is that kind of game that encourages you to play in this kind of way? Um, so I'm going to save the game here so I can return to this timeline, should I choose to do so. Persist in the Doom timeline I've created. I don't even know if I have an appropriate game to load, but I might, so I might go back to that. The thing is, the airlocks, were the airlocks locked? until I disabled Caspar. Maybe so, but airlocks aren't the only way to, to get around the place. I haven't seen anyone else dead yet. Yeah, this was one of the security officers though. It has been got. Hmm. One could argue that by, uh, by allowing them to actually take part in these battles and be, you know, self-actualize and oh shit. Yeah, no. Um, I knew Dal wanted to kill everyone. Alright, what have I got in terms of past saves? I'm, I'm doing this. I'm going back in time to change the world. Okay. I entered life support from the power plant. I entered the power plant not from the lobby, surely. Oh, do I not have an appropriate save then? Oh, 
because I was in the Shadow Bay for a long time. Have I overridden all my quick saves? It goes back five minutes. That goes back like half an hour. Is this before I headed into the Shadow Bay? It's all just a little bit of history repeating. All right, we've gone back in time. This is a an alternate timeline. I'm now looking for Dahl to incapacitate him, but this time I'm not going to undo his trick with the technical operator and let people out of whoops, the uh, cargo bay into which they have been locked. And the reason I'm not going to do that is because if I do that, they'll go and try to fight him and they'll all get killed. But, uh, I know this, I have seen the future. So, machine mind. Do, 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 do. This whole situation is now. Oh, hello. I have a hard time working for Thomas Morgan. The nature thing I was telling you about earlier. I have my operators, so sure. But it's not the same. It's better. You know what I mean? You have one too, right? Project January. Is that something important? My technical officer is finding all kinds of interesting data. Oh, here's another one. An order signed by your brother, authorizing Transtar to cut out your brain and ship it back to the family. No expiration date on that one. Oh. Take over. Bang, 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 bang. Stop shooting me, please. Ah! Was that a, was that a mimic? That was a mimic. Where did it go? Ah, uh, well. I guess I've got other things to worry about. Gosh, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Yes, well, I did remember there was a big fight here before I could kind of get up to the shuttle. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> this corpse fell on my head. Cool. Okay, okay. There's still a mimic over there somewhere, although I think the turret actually just took it out for me. Oop, take that over. This one up. Oh, it's gone. Oh, well, I'll blow this one up because it's only temporarily taken over. Oh. Hmm. Looks like maybe I can't damage it when it's machine mined or something. Well, whatever. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do differently in this timeline. I guess I'm, I'm going to discover the location of Dal's operator by listening to the message as before. And I'm going to steal all his food because why not in these neuromods and so on. Delicious neuromods. Let's listen to the message from William Yu. And while that's going, I'll poke around and steal stuff. This is William Yu, Acting Chairman of the Trans Star Board of Directors. I will need your credentials to authorize this mission. Of course. Mm -hmm. My authentication sign is Zeta Invictus Emperor Tangerine. Sign checks out. Good morning, Director Yu. Shuttle is hot and holding orbit. Awaiting mission parameters. You must secure every mm -hmm. piece of Cobalt Clearance Level technology and research aboard Talos 1. Then eliminate all Trans Star personnel. All personnel. No survivors. It's your show. 
and their funeral. Payment will be deposited into six separate Benelux accounts. After you transmit evidence of success, I leave my operator feeds on. Just keep watching. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. Look at that thing flipping out. Would be the station exterior near the power plant grids. Yes, I've seen the schematics, Mr. Yu. Goodbye. You will destroy this transmission now. He just wants to go and kill people. He doesn't care about uh, William's scruples or whatever. He does make sure to get the mission parameters and the authorization right and so on. It's probably a very by the book kind of evil murderer. Okay, so. So the next part of this plan is I save the game. Because I'm not totally sure what the best way to do things is here. I think I have to go outside to get Dahl's ultimatum. And then when I get ultimatumed. I want to race to the cargo bay, as I had originally been doing, but I came across the operator on the way. I, mean, I don't want to race to the cargo bay, I want to race to life support, which is where Dahl has demanded I meet him. Microgravity detected. Microgravity um, is with us once again. Hidden as an HR expense in the Transnar books. It's true. I do solve people problems. Your workmates hiding in the cargo bay are going to suffocate in a few minutes. Maybe you can save them, but you'll have to come out of the walls, right? Life support. The clock is ticking. All right. Morgan, Dal's cut off oxygen to the cargo bay. There's nothing I can do from here, and none of the doors are responding. Atmosphere controls are in life support. If you can help, do it quick, or this is the last time we'll be talking. So yeah, the uh, the objectives here are actually a trap. Miss Elisar is right to be alarmed, though her assessment is mistaken. Dahl is manipulating the oxygen and nitrogen mixture. With nitrogen flooding into the atmosphere, anyone in the cargo bay will asphyxiate far more quickly than had he simply cut the oxygen. I suspect they'd already be dead if Dahl weren't trying to use them to manipulate you. Hmm. And unfortunately, the game itself also tries to use them to manipulate me. Because if you uh, cut off his ability to hack stuff and free them uh, effectively, they all get killed by Dahl anyway, or some of them, or a large number. So you've got to go in alone if you want to save everyone, which is interesting. Actually, yes, you absolutely can help me. Thanks. Alright, let's get through here quickly ASAP. And fast. As well as rapidly and in a speedy fashion. I think it's a bit of a shame that... Elazar and her crew just get... It seemed like they got basically completely wrecked by the Typhon, mostly. The military operators were there, but they weren't the biggest problem. But, uh... And this yeah, makes sense. That's the thing. Uh, the whole thing is like the Typhon are very difficult to fight. That's why this is such a huge problem. Security weren't equipped for it, didn't know what they'd be facing. It was all, you know, covered up in advance. Alex didn't want the security crew to know they might have to fight alien monsters, to which he was busy feeding people. He and Morgan, I should say. But, uh, anyway. I need to sneak, but quickly. <laughs> She was already dead. And that's the water treatment facility. That's not where I want to go. This is where I want to go. Yeah, if you don't have a psychoscope, if you don't have your own neuromods giving you psionic powers, if you don't have the ability to save and load the game, you're a... Uh... Oh, there's a telepath here. Yeah. No wonder they got absolutely wrecked. I'm surprised Dahl got through here. Damn.
The trouble is, because Morgan is a silent protagonist, possibly due to being a simulated Morgan type one that thinks it's a person, etc. Theories, theories, who knows. Um, anyway, whatever reason, he can't just respond to Elazar and say, no, it's a bad idea to go in there. He can't say, hey, stay out here, I'll handle it. But, uh, The Typhon and the military operators have been fighting each other, and the military operators aren't doing too badly. Cool. Lol. This one I will simply kill. I forgot they explode. <laughs> As I do. So because I found Jean 4 earlier, I can actually get into the atmospheric filtration control room. However, this doesn't give me any kind of advantage at all. Because there was nothing in there. I think. Oxygen flow control room. That's where I want to be and that'll be where Dahl is waiting. The atmospheric filtration control room was over here. That's right, it sets you on fire. Dahl, there he is. I wonder... Shunfar's computer. Initiate decontamination. I remember this. Now, here's the question. Will this kill him? Or will it knock him out from a temporary suffocation? can see you. Oh yeah. That's choking alright. Morgan. Air's almost gone. Please. Kill that sociopathic wire hit. I'm trying. Okay, okay, but I still have to survive this place and uh, make sure Dahl doesn't actually die and also get the oxygen mix fixed so that nobody else dies. Just got a few minutes left, but it's, it's fine, that's, that's plenty of time in context. Alright, so Dahl will be fine. Fuck that guy. That's a yes, air mixture regulator. Cargo bay, power plant, psychotronics. I, yeah. I get more of these, I could fabricate them, but there's one right here, so. Salazar, Sarah Elazar, I mean, tell me you're okay. Morgan, the air's flowing again. I can breathe. And I hope this means Dal can't. Thank you. A little longer and. Never mind. Elazar out. No, he can breathe, unfortunately, but ah, we need him. Just we need a, a different version of him. Right. I get to get into his shuttle. So let's save the game here. This is the good timeline. That's the biggest retcon I've done in this playthrough. Hopefully, the only such one. And I just did not want to let something with such unexpected consequences have such a permanent effect. So, Dahl is unconscious, he suffocated. I, I feel like I should take him somewhere safe, but Igwe claims he'll arrange for a medical operator to come and uh, do the necessary stuff to the guy. That means I am clear to go and do other things elsewhere, like hacking this thing. Otherwise it will keep buzzing at me. I really don't need to hack this. Fuck. You do not need to find Jean 4 uh, and get into the 
control room to be able to do that. The computer is outside the control room. I wonder if at one point in the game's development it was actually inside the room and it was like a reward for having done this side quest that you could deal with Dahl in this way. I don't know. I don't know whether that is the case. Alright, oxygen is happening once again. Let's get out of here. Before I can meet with Alex, I do need to get rid of Kaspar, the tech operator outside the station, which is still in control of things such that uh, Alex won't come out. At least I think that's the state of play. Yeah, disable, disable Dahl's tech operator. Evidence that Dahl's operators came directly from my father. Is Alex really here on Telos 1 at all? I wonder. So, down here in life support, I should have access to some recycling and fabrication. I mention this because I've just picked up a lot of Typhon parts recently. Let's go to the water treatment facility for a sec. Gosh, there's a lot of coral around the place, isn't there? <laughs> Ish, coral is bad, and it might be bad. It might be, for example, um... Oh, hello. It's a corrupted operator and a voltaic thingy. Oh, whatever. Maybe this is not a pla great place to do some recycling. You know what? Forget it, I'm actually leaving. Uh, I've got better things to do. Uh, yes, exit to lobby. Um, the exit to the lobby is here, but I'm not going to exit to the lobby. I'm going to exit to the cargo bay. I want to check on people and make sure that everyone is okay, then this really is the good timeline, basically. That it was worth it to, to do these things. This, I believe, leads to life support. Hello, are you? Yes. No, this is the lobby. Okay. Uh, was the lift locked dull down by the tech operator? Yes. Caspar. Alright, well, I guess i got to go back to outer space then. Um, I will, in fact, be dealing with Caspar before I do other things. Probably a good idea to get rid of Dahl's influence on the station. I can barely see for all this coral. Right, we're going back to space. 